Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 47 of the FIFA 20, my player career and we are back after over a week of the, the last episode going live. We are back today, I hope you are all staying safe um, during this isolation period. Uh, but let's give you a little bit more content then. As you may remember, we did just finish the season with Arsenal. We do have the summer to look forward to right now and it is the World Cup Finals. But as you also you may remember from the last episode, we got injured. Um, so I think it was eight weeks we're going to be out for, which means we could miss all of the World Cup, depending how far France do get. Um, a good start there for the French national team. Uh, we take on Vel Vel Venezuela. There you go, I'll get it out eventually. I've not long woke up, so my voice and my brain are still waking up. Uh, but we do get the win there against Venezuela. That is the second group game of the World Cup stages so far and our third and final one is against Denmark. We should already be qualified for the first knockout round of the World Cup finals. Uh, a victory or a draw here will confirm that. Let's see what our teammates can do. Um, it's going to be game number three and win number three as well there for France. Three goals to one. Mbappe getting two goals and there is the group stage. And we finished top nine points out of nine. Venezuela finishing second. Let's just go through these groups and see who gets themselves into the round of 16. Netherlands and Uruguay both through. Sweden going out. Uh, Group D, Switzerland and Poland. Wow, look at that. Argentina, they are out in the group stages. Uh, Germany, they go through. Didn't even concede a goal there. Egypt also through. Um, Ivory Coast and Spain, Spain also going through without conceding a goal, or, uh, England sorry, Arsenal, uh, England going through, Brazil and Italy are through, Wales are out, I think that is about it. So round of 16, France have been drawn up against the United States of America, um, so will Kai be fit to play this one? I have no idea, Italy, Cameroon, Spain, Egypt, Switzerland, Uruguay. And Portugal take on Venezuela, who we beat in our group stage game. So, first game of the knockout stages, France versus the USA. Who is going to be coming out on top? France are going to be the favourites. Let's skip through. 2-2 two -two ends after 90 minutes, but a penalty shootout means that it is the United States who go through into the next round of the World Cup. And France, shockingly, go out. So, that is the World Cup over and done, over and done with. Let's concentrate on the domestic action back of Arsenal. And as you can see, they have already been making moves. Zichenko has joined the Gunners from West Ham United for 36.2 million. He's 22 or 25, I think it said 25 years old, wasn't it? Um, so, we'll wait to see if Arsenal bring in any more players. Here is the, the start of the new season. We take on Burnley, then we've got the UEFA Super Cup against Real Madrid. And then it is um, a game against Stoke City. So that is how we start our domestic season. France went, sorry France, Germany went on and won the World Cup, as you saw there, taking on Portugal in the final. Uh, Portugal actually knocked out Italy in the semis. England lost three goals to nil in the quarters against Germany. United States lost their next game against Netherlands after knocking out France. So let's jump straight into the action then. In the Premier League, because we did have the World Cup and because obviously Kai has been injured, he's missed all of pre-season as well. We didn't have any friendlies to play. Uh, so this is his first game since he picked up that injury at the end of last season. Let's hope that we can get off to a good start. Obviously this year we want to go and put in a real good challenge for the title. We want to be the Premier League title winners um, at the end of the season. So fingers crossed we can do that and pick up a Premier League winners medal. It wasn't quite there last season. Uh, we did win some silverware though. As you may remember we did win the UA Europa League. sorry, Which means we are in the UEFA Super Cup against Real Madrid. Now, that's going to be a tough one. But we will play that one in today's episode. And hopefully we can win some silverware in today's video as well. Especially after being away for a week. It would be nice to see us pick up some silverware. So early start here for Arsenal. Trying to get in amongst the goals early on. Arsenal in there. A yellow kit. And... It is Burnley who win possession there. But early stages looking pretty positive here for Arsenal. Um, Kai drifting short uh, for the ball. Playing a little bit more centrally as, as well like he normally tries to do. 
Nice little pull back. Tries to take off the shot, but good defensive work there by Burnley. And now they are the ones on the counter-attack. They've still got the ball. Good play. Is he onside? Is that one played across the top? And he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He takes off the shot, but the goalkeeper was there to make the save. Uh, less than 20 minutes gone, and the score is Burnley nil, Arsenal nil. Uh, but a good chance there for the home team to break the deadlock. Sean Dice there, he was expecting that one to be flying in to the back of the net. So, corner it is for Burnley. Or are they going to take advantage here with the first goal of the game? 5.8 match rating for Kai. As that ball gets swung in and it's going to fall straight to Kai. Sees his teammate, Nicolas Pepe. And now he's got space to run into himself. Here is Pepe charging down that right wing. Still going here. Cross needs to come in. He's got four in support, three in the area. Now all four are there. Cross comes in towards Kai, and he couldn't get across it good enough. He was too far underneath, and it just went high and over the crossbar. So 10 minutes to play in the first half. Kai's rating has gone down a little bit, probably because he is drifting out of position a little bit too much, but he's in possession right now. He needs to get this cross in, which he does. Oh, the goalkeeper couldn't really clear it, and there is Van der Beek for Arsenal. Who breaks the deadlock. Arsenal lead there. One goal to nil. I don't know if that will count actually as a Kai assist. Um, obviously he did get the cross in. But a defender or the goalkeeper got there before. Um, they couldn't clear it. And it fell straight to Van der Beek. Let's have a look at that. Cross comes in. I still don't know that if it was a goalkeeper or the defenders. But there is the goal. No doubt about that. It was Van der Beek number 8. Who scores his first goal of the season. And he joined in January. And he's been pretty good for us through the middle. Tall player as well, which helps, um, especially um, going forward with a little bit more power as Arsenal trying to double their lead in the first half here. Lays it across the middle and a poor effort there. That one really should have been at least finding the target. Number 30, uh, not troubling anybody whatsoever. So score does remain Burnley nil. Arsenal won. Five minutes to play in the first half. Let's jump into the second or the 42nd, I thought we were going to jump into the second half, but also still looking for a second goal in this first half. Here is Kai, he's going to lay it across the middle again, Van der Beek this time, couldn't get his shot away, but that's two times Kai's cut inside, find a teammate, but the teammate unable to find the target. So that's a bit of a shame, hopefully if he gets the chance to do so again, they can find the back of the net. Great interception there from Kai, 6.5 now his rating has jumped up to, he has been improving and he's going to charge all the way through here. He's got a bit of a space. He takes off the shot and that one flies into the top corner. And two minutes into added time in this first half. Arsenal finally uh, double their lead. So it is now Burnley nil. Arsenal 2. Kai getting himself in amongst the goals. Um, still not sure whether that first goal will be an assist for him. Um, but if it is, obviously he's in there for man of the match. So two goals nil for Arsenal. We're looking good for the three points. Let's jump into the second half and hopefully get ourselves another goal. Here is Kylan in possession for Arsenal, charging forward. He's going to cut inside. He does. Well, the ball does at least. Van der Beek plays the cross and Kai crosses first time. The volley is there and what a finish. It's Maximiliano Gomez with his first goal of the new season and then for Arsenal. Um, he will be fighting for the top scorer at the end of the season, no doubt, and for the club. He will be facing it off between Kai and, of course, Maro Akadi, who is currently still at the Arsenal as well. But good finish there. Good cross from Kai. That is definitely one of his assists. And then, of course, an even better finish from Gomez. So three goals to nil. Arsenal lead. A couple of minutes remaining then. And then Arsenal will have their first win of the new Premier League season. Well, look at that. Burnley trying to get themselves in on the goals as well. And that one's just wide of the post. Going close, number nine there. Not sure who it was. Uh, but now we'll just wait for the final whistle to blow. As Bernd Leno tries to find Kai on that far side of the pitch. And Arsenal do have possession. Good play there. And here's Ronaldo finds Kai. Is there going to be enough time to push forward for one more goal? No, there is not. So we'll take that. Three goals nil on the first day of the new season. Uh, nice positive performance there from the Gunners. Three goals nil. One goal Oh, he did get that over assist, uh, but at least we do have one assist, one goal, and obviously one win. So, let's jump into the second game of today's episode, and hopefully we're going to be ending this one with some silverware. It is the UEFA Super Cup. It's going to be tough, though, taking on Real Madrid. They have got to be the favourites, surely, 
Um, they obviously won the Champions League last season. And hopefully, obviously, Arsenal will be in the Champions League as well this season. So hopefully, Arsenal can push on and try and win that as well. Uh, we did well last season. We won the Europa League against, Man was it Manchester United in the final? I think it was. Uh, but uh, let's try and get some more European silverware in the Champions League. And, of course, in this game. We want a nice positive performance. Hopefully we do not concede. But right now it is Real Madrid on the attack. Here's Trent Alexander-Arnold. Former Liverpool uh, right back of course. Looks good in a Real Madrid shirt. I have to say that. As Arsenal pressing forward. Look at this beautiful play. And what a run here from Kai. He's one on one with a keeper. The goalkeeper decides to stop. He does push out. But he lays it off there. Kai lays it off to Nicola Pepe. And Arsenal lead 25 and a half minutes gone. And the score now is Real Madrid nil, Arsenal 1. Unselfish play there from Kai. He knew that Pepe was running alongside him on that right side. He lays it off to him and Pepe does not make a mistake and taps in for his first goal of the season. And will that goal alone be enough to give Arsenal some European silverware? Uh, we're not sure just yet. Real Madrid are pushing forward, trying to get themselves back onto level turns. Van der Beek, though. For Arsenal, just inside the Arsenal half, Kai takes it into the Real Madrid half. He's pushing through the defence. Look at this. He's got the power. He's got this pace. Has he got the finish, though? He has to pull it back. He does pull it back towards Van der Beek. And Van der Beek's there to tap home his second goal of the season. It's his first in the UA for Super Cup. And Kai yet again getting another assist. So that's two assists there for Kai. What a performance it has been so far from him. But, of course, that is exactly what we are there to do. Assist. Uh, probably could have taken the shot off himself. But he decided to just lay it off in the middle. He saw the run of Van der Beek. And Donny Van der Beek scores his second goal of the season. First in the UA for Super Cup. And will there be any more goals here for the Gunners? Time is running out. It looks like Arsenal are going to have some more silverware here. Here is Kai. Just runs into the defender, Jonathan Tarr, who clears it forward. And maybe one last attack here. Here is Vinicius Jr. He's charging forward. He's got the pace. Look at this. Got nobody around him. Just the keeper to beat. He lays it off in the middle. But there is Mustafi who clears it for Arsenal. And there is the final whistle. Arsenal then two games in today's episode. We win them both. Still yet to concede a goal. Uh, Nicolas Pepe and Donny van der Beek with the two goals for Arsenal. There is the main man Kai. He assisted both of those goals as they do go up here. For the trophy ceremony. It is going to be Mustafi who lifts it. He is the Arsenal captain right now. Uh, stood alongside Maitland-Niles. Kai and of course the goalkeeper as well. Uh, but there we go. Arsenal have some silverware. Hopefully a good sign of things to come this season. So hope you did enjoy it guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And there is confirmation that Arsenal are the European UEFA Super Cup champions. Peace.